Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to parse JSON. So I prefer to use a library called Swiftkey JSON with Alamo Fire. And that library makes it very easy to parse uh, uh, JSON in, in, in iOS. So let's add the library. So this is the URL for the library, Swiftkey JSON. And then we look at what's the URL for the Swift package manager. Here's the URL. Here's that. Go back to our app and we go to file add dependency and paste and here's swifty json add package now the boy the code i'm going to show you right now is really boilerplate code you know that's the code that we're going to use to do swifty json all right so here is that now let me have a look at the library itself how to use it here's the library and you see here this is how you uh, parse basically you get a json to represent whatever you are receiving and then you can go in and drill deeper and we'll go we'll look at it in a little bit now another thing also to look at is uh, optional getters so it has getters and setters that we're going to use and how to use it and so on we'll, we'll look at it right now okay good see here there is a way to get it you can import it by just say import shift to json and then you get json you pass it some data uh, data that's returned from the network and it gives you a json all right so let's have a look at how to do that here so now what I'm going to do is a little bit different than what we did before. I'm going to look at the, let's say, the contacts JSON. And you see here that this is, when you make this call, you get back a JSON, right? This is JSON. And you ask yourself also, is this a JSON object or a JSON array? And you know that this is a JSON object because it has curly brackets. Uh, however, you see contacts is a JSON array. It starts with an array, and then it's an array of objects. These are JSON objects, another JSON object, and so on. But if we make this request, and this is a GET request, so here is that. So let's go back in here, and let's make sure that we are making a GET request. We are not passing any parameters, so there are no parameters at all. I'm just going to message this uh, or change this uh, uh, request such that it's a GET request. Here is that. It's a GET request, GET contacts. And we do some validation here fine and i want the response to be response data so response response data or response just response so response only uh, uh, returns actually data so if we remove this code from here let's say here and do uh and what is this one so we remove this one also bye bye and i am going to do response response data press enter and here's the response and then basically you go in and I can do the switch case that we had here the same switch case we had this and I can remove all of that stuff here so basically here we could also do a hood dot uh, hood dot hide right, just so that things are happening here now what I would like to do is I'm getting data right I'm not getting a string now now I can just say import swifty json so i go here say import uh, swifty json there's that and then basically let json uh, equals uh, json here's that json and open and then from data see here from data and uh, press enter and then the data is going to come from response dot data see here response.data gets you the data now um, you can do some checks you could do for example uh, if uh, response response if let's say data data uh, let if let data equal response dot data so that does the first check right so now we can use data here instead of data right here's that mm -hmm. You can do something like this and you can also say equal to uh, try you know something like that and so here it is so basically we are uh, void aka not throwing but it does throw uh, this you could do something like this if let json equal to this and that takes care of the okay there's that so now here we took care of because this throws an exception it seems uh, all right so now we go back here and look at what they are doing so okay um, okay 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 all right so this shows you how to use the library we'll use the library in a little bit right now it's very simple so I'll, I'll show you now but this is all boilerplate really all of this is boilerplate code 
right, that you that we are going to use here see here uh, dot try question mark yes yeah, so i'll do a question mark here so uh try question mark and now that takes care of this case here's that so basically now what i'm going to do is that if everything goes well and i have data and basically i did check the data that's coming in and i have team json i'm just going to print the json here print just just to give you an idea of what we're coming back right so this is going to be json this is a swifty json uh, object that comes back and we're good to go right so here we are now we run this and see all right so we're going to get all the uh, contacts right go here there's this click me and you see here i'm getting all these contacts it's amazing see here i'm getting the contacts notice it's a json object right now if i want the status value this status whatever it says here okay i can easily get it by saying print json dot and i want string and you can get a you can get a, an optional or because if it doesn't exist right if that status doesn't exist or you can also get it as a string value so basically what you're interested in is st it's called status you know dot string dot string i know it's there so i could do string dot value now when you run it you will see that it's going to print okay at the bottom of after printing the json it's going to print okay click that you see here this okay it's because of that so and let me remove that json uh, being printed run it again clear the log go back here click and you see here okay right that's what the string value is so now if we go back here what if i want to get this array of contacts so now i can do it like this i could say for example in order to get the array of contacts let's say i want to loop over them for um item in json of and that's called what it's called contacts you see here it's called contacts so copy that from here it's called contacts dot array all right and i will do array value right it's an array of json here is that okay so here it is and now what i'm going to do is i uh, print each item just to so that you could see what is happening here right so run this and you'll see that it will print each one of the contacts you see here each one of them is an item this is one item the next item and so on go back here go back to the app go back to the emulator click key click me and you see here it's printing each one of them all right cool so now how do we parse so it's very easy also what usually what i do is i will need a contact and whenever you need to do this you will probably need to have an array of contacts that you're going to use maybe display them and so on so i'm going to create a new file uh it's a swift file this time and i'm going to call it contact contact all right here is that and then a contact has these values i'm going to copy this from here and this is a class contact capital c contact and uh, basically that's the class and then this is the contact we're trying to parse right and notice that it's a json object right it's a json object that we're going to receive all right here we are it's going to look something like this what i will do is i will say a var name as a string and let's say empty so here is the uh, name uh, email and phone type uh, and let's say name email so this is name or let's say this is phone name email and phone type okay phone type and then basically maybe the id var id as an integer integer equal to zero right all right and then what i'm going to do usually what i do is i create an initializer which is going to receive a json object right that that represents this that i'm going to use to, to parse so import import uh, swifty json here's that and basically i will create an init init with underscore json of type json json here's that and here we are all right so here is the initialization that happened here and now how do i extract these values i'll say var let uh, self self dot phone equals json json okay and it's phone or no it's capital p let's see here is phone dot string value here we are that's the phone and then you have the other ones name email are the same so this is name this is name this is going to be the name this is going to be the email email and this is going to be the phone type right here's that and this is the name here's that here's name and here's email and this is the phone type 
all right now what about the id self dot id uh, equals json of cid cid dot int value okay here is that very straightforward right so we are able to extract this data from here and uh, so cool so now if we go back to the view controller here we can have an array of contacts we can have var contacts equal to an array of contact here's that and now when we are parsing we are looping over them here basically i can come in and say for example let contact contact equals contact and then you see here we have we have this right we pass it to the item which is a json object right and we're not going to print it anymore and then we do self dot contacts dot append contact so now here we are adding the contact to the contacts and now here i can just go ahead and say print done or something and then i'm going to put a breakpoint here all right so now let's run this and i show you how to parse that's that's basically how you parse json all right click me does that we are here and if you look at self and you look at contacts these are the contacts this is each one of them here's the phone number email and phone type and id and so on the next one and so on so you are able to parse it's very straightforward this is really really boilerplate code basically we request using data and then uh, basically this is just a sanitization check here to converting this data into json uh, and you go from there all right so please let me know if you have any questions thank you